I wanted to make a quick video on my 16 gallon aquascape I have on my desk. Um, this is the second scape I've done in this tank and it's a 16 gallon 60p from Waterbox. Uh, love the tank, I love the company. Uh, I've got two tanks from them and very happy with both of them. You can see over there is another tank, uh, it's a Waterbox 10. And I can make a video on that one too. That's my wife's tank. Um, but yeah, this is a 16 gallon. Kind of an Iwagumi layout. I know I do have some stem plants in there. I was having a lot of algae issues, so I put those in. I kind of like them. Uh, kind of wanted to make it feel like a mountain range. And wanted to put a path in that kind of made you feel like you were kind of hiking through the mountains. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. We had a few problems with the Monte Carlo. Uh, had some black brush algae. Had some nutrient deficiencies. I was doing lean dosing. Now I'm just um, dosing an all-in-one Nylock G. Um, just zero stones. A lot of aqua soil. I've got it pr actually pretty elevated. Um, look on the side here. To save on money, I put um, some just landscape gravel at the bottom. I actually do have some ADA power stand. I was trying it out. It's so deep, though. I don't know if it's really doing much. Um, I just love this tank. Got a Twin Star on it. Uh, got the Neo Aqua, or the Neo Aquario Flow. I can't remember what they're called. I'll put all this stuff in the description. Um, on a Fluval 207, I believe it is. Which... If I could go back in time and change, I would put a Biomaster on it, Thermo, as you can see the heater, um, but that's okay. I'll use what I got. So it is CO2 injected. We do have high highlighting on it. Um, I've got a bunch of beautiful little microfish, um, Celestial Pearl Danios, and Emerald Rasporos, got them all from Akuhuna. Very happy with these fish. They're super playful, super peaceful. Uh, they maintain the size of this scape well. I didn't want the scale of it to be thrown off. I did have some cardinal tetras in here and they're just way too big. So these little fish are perfect for this. I do have quite a bit of shrimp in here too. They're all kind of hiding right now, but they're breeding really well. Got some Neocardina reds, oranges, blues. I've got a mono shrimp, about eight of mono shrimp in here. Got a ton of babies I see. Got um, at night usually. Got two nerite snails. Uh, I want to get some more. See, he's working on some black brush algae right now. And uh, I just love the way they look. Two autosynclus. That's the reason I have the heater in here. I, tank gets kind of cold during the winter. It was like 68 degrees, and my autos just weren't very happy. Everything else is doing fine. The shrimp and the Daniels actually really like the cold, but um, my idols are not happy. So I got it at 75 degrees. That's what I'm running all my tanks right now. But you can see it's just a really, I'm just really happy with it. And, you know, I'm, I classify myself as a beginner. Uh, I've only been doing this for a year to two years, so. Uh, but obviously I fell in love with it right away. I have about four high energy tanks. I've got a bunch in the basement, uh, including breeding some angelfish. So hopefully make a lot more videos for you guys. Um, I just wanted to get some nice videos of this tank. It's been running for about six months, I'd say. bunch of red, red root floaters in there. Shrimp really like to hang on those. And I hum the uh, 007 song when they do. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you're having a nice day. Thanks for watching.